today I'm at Lyndon B. Johnson State Park. Now there's a place north of me, about two thirds of the way to my hunting lease that I talk about constantly on the channel called LBJ Grasslands. And the Grasslands is like a huge area with dispersed camping, a large, large area with several different fishing lakes on it and horse trails, equestrian trails and whatnot. This is different. This is the LBJ State Park. And right over there is the LBJ Historic Site. And apparently that's where either he was born or maybe he lived or something. They said that, uh, something about the Texas White House being over there. I might take a ride around and kind of check that out later. That is a separate entity from this. And according to the map, it doesn't look like they overlap. I was hoping it would be a twofer as far as a POTA activation goes. It doesn't appear that it is. So I'm just set up at the state park today. This is Kilo 3035. And we're going to be putting together the res antenna. This is a new antenna from W5REZ Mike. He has 99%, well, 95% of this all made in the USA. The bag is not made in the US. This bag comes with the kit to carry around with it. Everything's made in the USA except for the bag and except for the telescoping whip, which we don't have today. We have the military mass today. So we're going to put this together. We're going to activate parks on the air, and I will put a link in the description below so that you can see where to get this antenna. If you care about stuff that's made in the USA, you're going to want to watch this video, so stay tuned. This video is sponsored by Mezzi and Plumy Coax, where you can always save a 5% discount with the coupon code of KC5HWB at both of the links in the description below at gigaparts.com and at messy.it. They're actual website from Italy. You have to get it shipped to you. But some things Gigaparts doesn't carry. So if you can't find it at Gigaparts, go buy it directly from M&P Coax. This is some of their airborne. This is a 50 foot run of their airborne coax. This is what I'm going to be using today. This is what I took on the plane with me last week when Kyle and I flew to Connecticut and did a nine state POTA rove. It's very lightweight, very portable, very easy to use for POTA and for soda. We're going to use it today. And check out the link in the description below to save 5% discount with the coupon code of KC5HWB. Thank you, MNP, for supporting this channel. One of the cool things about this antenna is it comes in multiple configurations. We can see right here we've got a tripod right there. And I've got the ground spike over there. The ground spike is similar to ground spikes that are on several different antennas of this style several different ground loaded uh, coils that uh, type antennas but but this thing goes right here so i've got the because there's no wind out today you can clearly see i'm not really worried about this thing falling over so i've got this set up right here let me get out of the sun on the, the tripod and you can buy it with the tripod or with the spike and you can buy both of them together but the kit comes with one or the other and it comes with this puck that goes that's actually attached to the bottom of the antenna and this puck has eight lugs on it it comes with four wires for ground radials we see we've got them out going in four different directions north south, north south east and west we could put more wires on here we could add more wires to this and have two wires coming out of that if we wanted to something like that they are these banana plugs so you can put them in anywhere you want to it's really simple and these wires these ground wires are about 33 feet long. The Shelligan's antenna that I activated State Park's Galveston Island State Park with just a couple weeks ago at the time of this recording, their ground radios were much shorter and people were asking in the comments, how well does that work? Quite frankly, I don't know how the Shelligan's works so well with short ground radios, but it does. I made, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 contacts that day, planning on using that in another environment soon, something that's not on the salt water to see how well it it works there so stay tuned for that if there's another antenna you want to see me use and set up on poda put a comment in the video below and let me know and i'll see if i either have one or i can get one it's tuned like that so we get to move that up and down and then you have a choice of whips right here this is the the corded stainless steel what he calls his military mast and it's got this cord in it right there shock cord in it just like that and it has a spring at the bottom that keeps all of this taut and he says that it works better with the spring in the bottom than just the paracord, just shock paracord itself. So we've got an extra, extra spring in there that helps to keep it retracted. You can also get a telescoping whip for this, similar to the Chameleon or the MFJ whips that I've used or the Alpha Antenna whip that I used. So you can order that either or as well. And then of course this part here is not adjustable. So if we want to tune the antenna, we're limited to this. If you have the uh, telescoping whip, you can tune that up and down and, and tune it that way too. So it's just another option. One is not necessarily better than the other. You got options for however you want to set it up. I believe this is about 9.1 feet. This uh, part, this 
military mast right here, this military whip right here. And I think the telescoping whip he sells is about 10 feet, so it's a little bit taller. So we're gonna feed it right here with the M&P Airborne Coax that I showed you a minute ago. And we're gonna see how well it works on this ground. And I'm gonna put it on the analyzer. Okay, so this is called the Ranger 80 antenna. I called it the Res antenna. Res antenna is the company name. The actual model of this antenna is called Ranger 80. It is good from 80 meters up to 15 meters and it will do 10 and 12 meters with the telescoping whip that I mentioned a moment ago. The military mast that he makes for it is not quite tall enough to do 10 meters without a tuner. I would suspect, depending on where you set it up, if you move the coil all the way up and make the antenna as short as it will go, it will do just fine on 10 meters with a tuner in your radio, like a FTDX-10 or IC7300 tuner. I don't know, I haven't tried it, I'm not gonna try it today because uh, 10 meters doesn't look like it was open earlier, but I did move the coil up to almost to the top because at the very top should be 15 meters. I moved it almost up to the top and we're almost flat on 17 meters. So the, the antenna is a little bit short. It looks like it's dipping right at 1.4 to 1, right around like 17.9, so just below the 17 meter band, it's a little bit long because it's dipping at, if I want it, well, depending on where I want to set it up, if I move it up all the way, if I move the coil up all the way, we'll go out here and look at it. So this is where the coil is at now. If we go up all the way with this specific military mast, that should be pretty close to 15 meters right there. And then if we go down a little bit to 17, which is where we were, about there, go down a little bit more. And the, the farther down you get, the, the you're tapping the coil farther farther down and then you're using more of this coil here if you move it all the way down you use all the coil and it makes the antenna longer for 80 meters you move it up you shorten this coil and it makes the antenna shorter for 15 17 20 meters i'm going to move it like right there and then you you can fine tune it like that if you want to so you can click it up and down and tap it and you get you just kind of have to to learn it i was talking to mike the owner of the company and he's like yeah i've used it so many times i can just tell by looking at it where 20 meters is but you know when you're new you're not going to be able to find that out immediately so you're gonna have to fiddle with it get your analyzer get your rig expert stick which is what i use to get uh, the precise measurement that's what we're doing right now i spent a little bit more time on it than i should have just because i i was kind of testing it up and down and twisting this left and right and i was just kind of seeing what the meter would say when i played with it a little bit so you know if you want to set up and activate you could probably do it a lot quicker than what i did because i was testing the antenna because i was this is the first time i've ever used it so and i think that probably the telescoping whip would work better on this soil is what i'm guessing because the smallest dip i can get is about 1.5 and now it's pretty solid between 1.5 and 1.7 across the entire 20 meter band but if we look at it right there 14.17 megahertz it's about 1.7 you go down towards the bottom of the band it gets to 1.5 and it's pretty good across the bottom portion of the 20 meter band. You go up here to like 14.2, which is probably where I'll be working. 14.214, it's 1.8, but it's pretty flat, solid, you know, less than 2 to 1 across the band. I suspect you could probably get it lower than that with a little bit more tinkering. Maybe if I put the ground spike in, maybe if I if I added more radials to it. Now the kit comes with four radials. You can add eight, but you got to buy the extra four for it. So if I added more radials, I could probably get it down a, li a little bit farther. If I had an adjustable whip to mess with, I could probably get it down a little bit farther. And if you set this thing up on a beach or in a more wet environment, it's really dry out here right now, or different type of soil, you're going to get different readings also. But I think we're probably good for that right here for a temporary setup. So let's uh, let's put it on the radio and see what we can find. CQ, CQ, CQ Parks on the air, CQ Parks on the air, Kilo Charlie 5, Hotel Whiskey Bravo. Calling CQ Parks on the air from LBJ State Park in Texas, Kilo 3035. Calling CQ Poda and listening. Alpha Delta 4, Juliet X-Ray. Alpha Delta 4, Juliet X-Ray. Uh, good morning, James. 5-9. Uh, USL 84JX, uh, 9-10, I have you 5-9 in Texas. Thanks for another one. USL, thank you. QRZ, Kilo Charlie 5, Hotel Whiskey Bravo, Parks in the Air. Kilo, Hotel Sierra. Foxtrot Hotel Sierra. Typing into the Discord. Foxtrot Hotel Sierra. Kilo, Oscar 4, Foxtrot Hotel Sierra. 
Hotel Sierra. Kilo Oscar for Foxtrot Hotel Sierra. Good morning, Diane. Five nine into Kilo three zero three five. QSL Jason, thank you for three zero three five. I also have you five niner five niner Foxtrot Lima. I have a second op. We'll get you another one. Okay, Roger, Roger. Copy five nine and Foxtrot Lima. Stand by for second op. Hey Jason, it's John Kilo November four Sierra Whiskey Sierra five nine Florida. Okay, John, Kilo November 4, Sierra, Whiskey Sierra, also 5-9 into Kilo 3035. Thank you for two operators this morning. Hey, thank you for all the videos, man. 73. 73, thanks for being out there. QRZ, Kilo Charlie 5, Hotel, Whiskey Bravo, Parks in the Air. Thanks. Kilo India 5, Echo Romeo Golf. Uh, the Kilo India 5, I think it was Echo Romeo Golf. Roger, Roger, Steve in Northeast Mississippi, sounding good. All right, Steve, you're 5'9", booming in here in the Texas, Kilo 3035. Thanks for the contact. QRZ, Kilo Charlie 5, Hotel, Whiskey Bravo, Parks in the Air. Ending Papa Charlie. Okay, Roger, Roger. Uh, Whiskey Alpha Zero, Yankee Papa Charlie, copy 57, also a 57 in the park, Kilo 3035. Thanks for activating the park. Alpha Golf 4, Hotel Golf. Alpha Golf 4, Hotel Golf 5-9. Alpha Golf 4, Hotel Golf 5-9, Tennessee. Uh, good shows, Jason. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, good to get good work on the air. Great signal from Tennessee. Thanks for being out there this morning. Alpha Delta 2, Charlie. Uh, the Alpha Delta 2 station? Alpha Delta 2, Charlie. Alpha Delta 2, Charlie Delva, copy your 5-7, you're about a 5-5 in Texas, 55. Roger, thank you, 73. Thank you for the contact, 73. QRZ from Kilo Charlie 5, Hotel, Whiskey Bravo, Parks in the Air. Kilo 0, Oscar, Tango, Charlie. Kilo 0, Oscar, Tango, Charlie, 5-5, uh, 55. Five five, 55. Kilo 0, Oscar, Tango, Charlie. Copy Minnesota, 73, and thanks for the contact this morning. QRZ, Kilo Charlie 5, Hotel, Whiskey Bravo, Parks in the Air. Whiskey 1, Alpha Romeo, Romeo. Whiskey 1, Alpha Romeo, Romeo, 5-9. Five, Roger, five, five, Rhode Island, Romeo, wait, you have some great day, 73. Thank you for Rhode Island this morning, uh, thanks, uh, 73. So yesterday, I activated the, the National Museum of the Pacific War which is in town in Fredericksburg, Texas. And there's power lines all the way around it. And there's parking around the perimeter. There's not really a parking lot. You have to park in the parking spots around the perimeter to be in the park. And there's a lot of RFI. I had like an S7 noise floor the whole time because of all the power lines. But I activated some on 10, some on, uh, a lot on 15, and some on 20. And 20 meters was terrible just because it, it was there's so much noise. Now, there's no noise out here at this park. You see right here this... Uh, little bit of kind of electrical something something going on but for the most part the noise floor is basically zero but 15 meters is up according to the app that i use and uh and i want to try some. i got about 29 contacts on 20 meters okay so i'm going to see how difficult it is to just move from 20 to 15 on this antenna just how many clicks it's going to take so let's check that out real quick okay i improvised because i'd moved the coil all the way up and it was dipping around 20.6 megahertz so it was still too long so I took the telescoping whip off of my MFJ, my MFJ telescoping whip that I've used on two or three dozen activations. Put that on there and shorten it down shorter than the military mast that comes with it. Okay, so that's where the dip is now. It's on 21.2. It's still dipping at like 1.8 or 1.9 to 1. So I think, that's, I think the swale out here is just way too dry. I don't know how else to explain. I can't really get it to dip farther than that. But lesson learned is... If I was going to purchase this antenna, I would want the telescoping, because you had, I said at the beginning, you have an option of a telescoping whip or the military mast. And I think I would get the telescoping whip so that I could make it even shorter. And if I wanted to go down to 10 meters, I'd shorten it even more. A little bit more versatility there. You do what you want to, depending on what band you worked on. I made 29, 30 contacts on uh, 20 meters. No problem at all. Work great on 20 meters, so we're going to see how it works on 15 now. QRZ, Kilo Charlie 5, Hotel, Whiskey Bravo, Parks in the Air. Kilo Golf 2, Mike Mike. Kilo Golf 2, Mike Mike, 5-9. Uh, Thank you. You're also 5-9. It's a Florida. Good sound your station there. Which antenna are you using? I'm testing a new antenna today, actually. This is the uh, Ranger 80 from Res Antennas. 
It's a, a base-loaded coil antenna, and I uh, got it tuned down to 15 meters. It's working great. All right, yeah, we're sonic right here in the northeast Florida. All right, let's get back to it, man. Good to hear you. 73, have fun. 73, thanks for the contact on 15. QRZ, Kilo Charlie 5, Hotel, Whiskey Bravo, Parks in the Air. Park, Kilo Charlie 3, November, Lima Tango. Uh, the Park to Park is uh, Kilo Charlie 3, November, Lima Tango, I think, 5 9. Yeah, Roger, Roger, you're about a 5 7 here into Maryland, Mike Delta. Okay. You ready? It's 1583. 1583, over. Okay, copy. 1583 in Maryland. Got you in the logbook, man. Thanks for the park to park. You bet. Have a good one, Jay. 73. 73. QRZ, Kilo Charlie 5, Hotel, Whiskey Bravo, Parks in the Air. And then there were none. <clears throat> CQ, CQ, CQ Parks on the Air, CQ Parks on the Air, Kilo Charlie 5, Hotel, Whiskey Bravo. Calling CQ Parks on the Air from LBJ State Park, Kilo 3035. Calling CQ Poda and listening. Kilo Charlie 8. Okay, Matthew, I hear you out there. The, the first, uh, the Kilo Charlie 8 station. Uh, Kilo Charlie 8, India, Quebec. Kilo Charlie 8, India, Quebec, 5-9. Uh, great signal. Uh, same here, 5-9 both ways. Uh, really sound nice and clear. 5-9 uh, Michigan, make India. Roger, Roger, copy five nine in Michigan. Thanks, sir. Uh, thanks for being out there on fifteen meters seventy three. All right, Kilo Delta nine Delta Zulu Tango, come back. Roger, this is Kilo Delta nine Delta Zulu Tango Jason. I got to five seven here in Wisconsin. Roger, copy the five seven. Also five seven into Texas, man. Thanks for being out there again on fifteen, Matthew. Roger, this is the next one, okay. Seventy three QRZ Kilo Charlie five Hotel Whiskey Bravo Parks in the air. Whiskey United 2 Delta Mobile. Whiskey United 2 Delta Mobile 5252. Five, on the New York State Freeway. Over. Okay, copy the 55 five New York State Freeway. Always good to work mobile stations. Thanks for being out there. Very nice. Good signal. <clears throat> 73 is good luck. WU2D Mobile. My name is Mike. Okay, Mike, uh, thanks for being out there on 15 meters, 73. Success! My last two contacts on 15 meters, one was to Italy. Italy 4, Romeo Hotel Papa. And uh, the one after that was a Spanish station, Echo Alpha 1, Bravo Uniform Lima. Not unusual for to get uh, DX like that on 15 meters, but very impressed uh, getting that on a vertical antenna. So low takeoff angle being what it is. Great antenna, worked out very well. Maybe... Not the best ground composition to be using a, a, a base loaded coil in just because it's so darn dry out here. They haven't had rain out here in a long time, but I was able to compromise. Um, I would suggest if you're going to pick one of these up, which by the way, he's uh, he's now selling, you can get them through his website. I'll put the link in the description below, but he's also selling them through both DX Engineering in the USA and Moonraker in Europe. So uh, you can get them locally at those uh, shops as well. I would opt for the telescoping whip on top instead of the military mast because that mast, that, that tent rope uh, tight style of uh, expanding mass like that is not adjustable you have you put it up and that's it you, you can't adjust it up and down but the telescoping whip you can make a little bit shorter go down to 10 and 12 meters which he advertises that the military mass is supposed to go down to 15 meters only i couldn't get it to tune quite that low on this really dry soil but with the telescoping whip that i had from another antenna it worked just fine so i would suggest getting the telescoping whip and and don't look back great antenna worked well uh, check the links in the description below thank you to mike at rez antenna for letting me borrow this antenna and letting me activate it 73 guys